Welcome to the third tutorial about the AG Granular Suite. In this tutorial, you will learn how to record and playback streams of grain parameter vectors. We will also talk about the modulate module, which can be used to alter the recorded stream of grain parameters during playback. In order to record a stream of grain parameters generated by the control module, the record module has to be synced to the same engine as the control module. This was explained in the introductory tutorial. Then the trigger outlet of the control module needs to be connected to the rightmost inlet of the record module. When you start triggering grains, the round indicator on the record module should start flashing. Before you press record, you can select this toggle here, which will ensure that the start of the recording will synchronize with the first incoming grain trigger. Ok, let's start recording. While recording, you can press this mute button here in order to filter out incoming triggers. You can also pause and restart recording at any time. To stop recording, press the record button again. There are three recording modes. In the clear mode, the previous recorded content of the entire sequence is erased every time you start a new recording. When the erase mode is on, only the events within the time segment which was re-recorded are deleted. So if you record a 10 second sequence and then re-record the first 2 seconds in erase mode, the remaining 8 seconds will stay untouched. Finally, there is the overdub mode, which adds the newly recorded events to the sequence without touching what is already in it. You can use this number box here to specify the starting time of the next recording. Use this button here to jump again to the given time. The number box in the middle shows you the time of the last recorded event. After you are done recording, you can save the sequence into a text file. Notice that there is a sub patch named Autoload saved between the record and the play modules. It is used to notify the play module about the file path of the recently saved sequence so it can be automatically loaded by this module. You can also load the sequence using the load button on the play module or by entering the name of the file into the text box here. Note that unless your sequence file resides in the Mac search path, you need to provide a full absolute path to the file you want to load. Now since the sequence is already loaded, let's play it back. The play module is based on the FTM play external. The sequence player in the control module is based on the same external, therefore all you have learned in the previous tutorial about controlling its playback also applies here. The play module allows you to change the original speed of the recorded sequence, but it doesn't have any features which would allow you to modify the grain parameters. For this purpose, you can use the modulate module, which is a hacked version of the control module. It has all the features of the control module, but allows you to specify how each grain parameter generated by it will affect the corresponding value currently stored in the grain parameter vector. There are four modes for each grain parameter. Bypass, 
the current value remains unchanged, add, the value generated by the module is added to the currently stored value, multiply, current value is multiplied by the one generated in the module, Replace. The value is replaced. This concludes the third tutorial about the AG granular suite. In the next tutorial, you will learn how to use the preset mixpad in order to interpolate presets programmed with the control module.